Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be my monthly update for Beauty A to Z. This is a Pantastic Ladies project. It started on January 1st. It goes until December 31st. This is my fifth year doing this project and it's one of my all-time faves. It was originally created by Jessica Lee and Amanda D. What else? There will be a link to the Pantastic Ladies group in the description box down below. It's a Facebook group that's all about project panning. If you're interested in that sort of thing, you're more than welcome to join. You just need to answer a few questions. The whole point of this project is to link a product to every letter of the alphabet A through Z, assuming we're working with the English language alphabet, which I am. And prior to today, I had one goal met on a product so I have been working with 25 products and I am so excited to let you know that I have met my goal on two items for this update today. Not just any two, two crazy difficult items that I've been trying to finish for over a year. Two, three, one I think I've been working on for two years and one I've been working on for three years. So I am so excited to talk about these empties today. I cannot wait, let's get into it. The first empty I have is for the letter B, and that is my Milani eyeshadow in Bella Rose. She's done. That is one empty pan of the Milani Bella Eyes Gel Powder eyeshadows look like. I use this more as a face highlight than an eyeshadow in the end. This was a single that was basically brand new three years ago, and then I put it in my Dude, You Pan My Battleship project that I'm doing against Elizabeth, and I hit pan on it in that project, which meant I met my goal for it in that project, and then I rolled it over to Past, Present, Future last year and worked on it all last year, and now it's in this project this year. So I've been working on this for a long time, and I really love this eyeshadow. I loved it both as a brow bone highlight and a face highlight. I liked it a lot. It is my kind of highlighter. It had a little bit of pink to it. Well, it had a lot of pink to it, but it was very reflective and I loved it, but I probably have 20 to 30 eyeshadows just like this or highlighters just like this in my collection somewhere. I'm sure if I did a side-by-side -side comparison of my highlighter stash and my eyeshadow stash, I would have 20 to 30 dupes of this. So, you know, I think this is the first eyeshadow single that I've finished in, I think this is the first eyeshadow I've finished in two years. And this is the first eyeshadow single I've finished in probably four years, five years. I mean, it's been a long time since I've finished an eyeshadow single. But I think this is my first eyeshadow empty. I don't think I finished a single eyeshadow last year at all. I don't know what happened last year, but I don't think I finished a single eyeshadow. I'll have to go back and check, but I can't think of any that I finished. So this is extra exciting. I am so happy about this. This is the kind of empty that makes me want to just multitask all of my eyeshadows for all of my, you know, different things, brows, blush, highlight, bronzer, and just get through as many eyeshadows as I can because this is very satisfying. My next empty is another product that I ended up multitasking and that is for the letter C and that is my CoverGirl lipstick in Sheer Rubies. I've been working on this for three years as well. This was in my past, present, future project for two years and now it rolled over to this project this year. I did end up digging everything out of it. I counted it as empty when I hit the plastic. So I do still have the dugout part, but I'm counting it as empty because I feel like once you hit plastic, you're done. Anything I do with that remaining part that I dug out is mine to do with. I plan to use it up, but I'm counting it as an empty. Um, what can I say about this? This was a very sheer red and I like sheer reds. Um, this wasn't the most moisturizing balm though. If I'm going to wear a sheer lip color. I want it to be super moisturizing and I want it to feel really good. This was kind of drying, which seems like a sheer lipstick should not be, but it was. But it was also really nice and I enjoyed using it as a lipstick for the first few years, but it just wasn't 
going anywhere. I didn't feel like I was making any progress at all. And a lot of you guys had been encouraging me in the comments to try and use this as a cream blush. And I was hesitant to multitask it because I have a lot of cream blushes. I have a lot of cream blushes. And I kept thinking like, I need to be working on my cream blushes. I don't wanna use a lipstick as a cream blush. But when I got to the point where it was like low, I was like, all right, let's get this done. So I started using it as a cream blush and I knocked it out in just a couple months. So yeah, that's kind of how I work. Like I don't like to multitask at very much because I have all of those products already. It's not like I don't have a cream blush that I could be working on. But when it starts getting closer to the end and I'm ready for it to go, I will multitask it in any and every way possible. So this was also a very, very satisfying empty. One thing that slowed me down on this was when I had to take it out of my purse. When I was carrying this in my purse, I was reapplying it like two or three times a day. But at some point this cap broke on me and I didn't feel comfortable carrying it around in my purse because every time I would go grab it from my purse, the cap would be off and it would be rolling around in my purse. And I was kind of worried that I was going to damage my purse with my lipstick. So I took it out of my purse and that's when progress really slowed on this for about a year. So I'm, I'm so happy. And I know you guys are too. So those are my two empties for this project for this update today. Uh, that takes us down to 23 products left in this project. And I have them all out for today. So let's get into it. Okay, for the letter A, I have my ABH Brow Wiz. I am so glad I put this in this project. I am more and more confident that I'm going to get through this this year and my brow category is finally going to start going down. So I'm very happy about that. I didn't think I needed this in my life because I'm also working on an eyeshadow as a brow powder, but I do like using this just to kind of, um, I don't wanna say outline, but define the inner part of my brows a little bit. And I don't use that much. It's not like I'm filling in my whole brow, but I just use a little bit every day. Progress is very slow with it because of that but I am getting there. And I think I'm about a third of the way through this pencil already. Here is my new mark for this update. And so you could see where I started and how much I've used and how much I have left. I think I'm about a third of the way through that pencil. So that's pretty cool. I'm getting there. Somewhere I'm not getting is progress with this guy. This is a Dr. Brandt Pores No More Primer. I have not touched this once this year. I'm working on another primer in this project right now. I will be getting to this very soon, but so far I haven't used this yet. For the letter E, I have my trio of Estee Lauder products. I have a body lotion, a body wash, and a perfume. My goal is to finish the lotion and the wash and to use the perfume as much as I can while I'm working on the other two. Here are my new progress lines. This is the lotion, this is the wash. I've made more, come on now. I've made more progress with the lotion than I have with the body wash, which is fine, but a little bit surprising. I'm usually pretty good about using these things up at the same time. But I think I'm gonna get through the lotion first before the body wash. But I did make really good progress on both of these this month. And the perfume still looks super full. I mean, I, that's why I didn't have a goal of finishing this because I knew this would last a long time, much longer than those two products. But I do use this perfume every single day that I use those two products. And I didn't make a mark on the bottle. I didn't see the point, but I'm still not even to the point where it says Estee Lauder. So we'll see how far I can get on this while I'm working on those two, but really good progress on those two. Once I finish the wash and the lotion up, that num I'm considering my letter E done. And for the letter F, I have my foursome. That is all of my Bath & Body Works rice flour and shea products. Yes. So for that, I have a body spray, a body wash, and two lotions. So this lotion right here, I haven't touched. I haven't used this at all. This is the body cream. Still full. Well, I don't know if it's full, but still at the same place it was at the start of the year. The other lotion I'm almost done with. I am down to about here. It is hard to tell because a lot of the product sticks to the walls, but I can no longer pump anything up out of the pump. 
I have to open the lid, unscrew the top off and scrape product out and like hang it upside down and shake it to get anything out. So its days are numbered. I'm hoping to have this finished off within the next month because warm season is coming. And when warm season comes, I don't want lotion. So I'm hoping to get this finished before it gets too warm out. So I am trying to focus in on this a little bit more to make sure I get it done before it gets hot out there because the hotness is coming. It's gonna be 80 degrees tomorrow and I'm super excited. So really good progress on this one. And that leaves me with my body wash and my body spray. Not nearly as much progress on these, but definitely new marks were made. So that's where I started out at the beginning of the year and this is where I am now. It's the first time I've been able to make a mark on these and they're about the same size. My goal is to finish all of these products. So, all right, F, G. For G, I have my Avon Glimmer Stick Slip Liner. This is moved to my purse, which means in theory, I should be getting more consistent use out of it. Basically, whatever I have in my purse gets the most use compared to what I have in the bathroom. For some reason though, I was not able to make a new line on my paper. I only have this much left, but I wasn't able to make a new mark for some reason. I don't know why. I have used it several times in the past month, but no new marks. For the letter H, I have my Benefit Hello Flawless Foundation. I was able to make a new mark on this. This is an airless pump and I'm up to here now. I'm feeling really confident that I could finish this off this year in the next, I would say even six months, which I'm really excited about. If you've been following me for a while, you know that it takes me a long time to finish a foundation. But I do feel like I'm getting through this one relatively quickly, which is good because I have, you know, like 40 other foundations to get through. So I'm really happy. And I do feel like this is a good match for me. I'm wearing it today. I wear it every day. And I do feel like this is working for me. And I do have other foundations that are a little bit darker that I can mix in with it should I start getting a tan. Hasn't happened yet, but I'm waiting for the sun to come out and for my skin to darken up a little because I do love the sun. I worship the sun. I wear sunscreen every day, but I worship the sun. So um, once I start getting a little tanner, I'm hoping that I can continue making that foundation work by mixing in some darker foundations with it. I already met my goal for the letter I, so we're gonna skip down to J. That's my Marc Jacobs eyeliner in blacker. Um, I made a new mark on this this time around. I have good progress. It's almost gone. I just have that little bit left. It's really getting there. I love this eyeliner. I'm devastated that I cannot repurchase it again. That's all that I have left. I do have a few more squirreled away as backups. So there's no need to cry yet, but... My dream goal was to pan every eyeliner I own and eventually have only a collection of Marc Jacob highliners. So my dream has been crushed. For the letter K, I have my Mary Kay Liquid Illuminator. Um, this is hard to measure progress. I do feel like the windows up at the top have widened a little bit. Um, I'm not using this every single day. I do good for a couple of days and then I fall off the wagon. And then I do good for a couple of days and I fall off the wagon. This does dry down quickly. And when I'm mixing this in with my foundation, I have to work quickly because it literally will dry down on my face before I have a chance to blend it in. Um, however, besides that, it's really nice and I've been enjoying it. Another product that's just been getting the shaft is my bronzer from Laura Geller. I was so excited to work on this this year, but I pulled a cream bronzer in my advent calendar project pan that is taking up the whole year. I've been working on it all year long. It's the Energizer Bunny. That little bronzer sample will not die. I keep trying to use it up. I use it every single day and it won't die. And until it does, I'm not gonna touch this. So it must wait longer. Another product I haven't used much of is my MAC Lightful C Tinted Serum. This is a product I plan on getting to um, very, very soon, maybe tomorrow. I think I'm gonna start mixing this in with my Benefit Foundation starting tomorrow. And I'm very excited about that. 
For the letter N, I have my Strivectin Starlight Retinol Night Oil. I love this. I love this so much. I feel like this is making me look younger every single day. Um, I don't know how, but I love this night oil. This is another product. Like I am ready to use up every moisturizer I own that I consider to be a nighttime moisturizer and just start wearing, using this for the rest of my life. Like this is all I want. I love the way it makes my skin look. I like the scent. I like the way my skin feels. I love this product. I cannot tell you how much I've used. The package is completely opaque, but it's still going strong, thank goodness. I initially received this complimentary through Influencer for review, but this is a product I would 100% go out and purchase the second this is gone. I just love it that much. It's just such a good night oil. I'm so glad I put it in this project. For the letter O, I have my Pacifica Tuscan Blood Orange Body Butter. This is almost gone. We are down to the very bottom, somewhere around here. And um, I, th depending on how much I use it, this could be gone by next month. It all depends on the weather. I could probably use some right now, to be honest. My current problem with this product is that when I open it, way too much product spills out, way more than what I need for my hands. And then I'm looking to put it on other parts of my body that I wasn't planning on putting lotion on because I don't want to waste the product. And that's very frustrating. And because of that, I want to finish this up and get it out because it's very frustrating when you think you're just trying to get enough out for your hands and you end up getting enough out for your hands, your arms and your legs. So I'm looking forward to that being gone possibly by next month. For the letter P, I am so excited. I have my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is the first time I've been working on this all year long. This has been in this project since the start, but I just didn't use it for the first three months of this project because I was working on another bronzer and another project, and now I'm back to working on this. Just for fun, I will throw up comparisons from where I was at the start of the year to where I am now. I'm guessing there's not that much progress. I've only really been working on it for the last two weeks or so. So there's not even a full month's worth of progress on this. This is one of the products though that I am going to be repressing. I talked to you guys about whether you wanted to do like a chill, like repressing session with me where, where I did a Q and A and several of you guys were up for it. I got your questions. So I will be filming that either tonight or tomorrow. And this is one of those products that's gonna get repressed because it is a pain in the butt to try and dig my brush around these edges at this point. So thank you for submitting your questions. If you haven't, it's now or never, because I'm gonna be filming that like right now. Another product that's going to be getting repressed is my Clinique Gentle Glow for the letter Q. This sad thing shattered, and it definitely slowed down my usage because I don't wanna use it when it's like this. So this is the current state. I'm going to be repressing this one and hopefully I can finish it off pretty quickly after that. But I haven't used it much since it broke a few weeks ago. I've been using the Bare Minerals Baked Translucent Setting Powder that's in my Pan and Every palette for the most part. For the letter R, I have my Revlon Photo Ready Primer. It's not this product, but it's been cleared out of its package and placed into this product. And I've been using this a ton since 50 Shades of Purple ended. I think next month might possibly be the last month for this product. And it did go down again in weight. I was able to weigh it again. It seems to consist of, I'm weighing in ounces for this one just because that's how I started. And there's only two products in this project that I could weigh. But every update, it's gone down by 0 0.05 of an ounce and it did again this time. So it's I'm making consistent progress on this and um, I really like this. This works really well under that Benefit foundation I'm working on. It really keeps me matte um, for a longer period of time and my skin just looks really flawless even after I initially put it on. I really like it. I, I didn't realize I was gonna fall in love with this product so much when I started panning it, but I really do love it. Next for the letter S, I have my Butter London Glaze and Eye Gloss in Starlight. I haven't touched this at all this whole year. I haven't used it. Gotta find a way to work it in. For the letter T, I have my Tea Tree Oil Foot Soak. 
Um, I don't think I used this in the past month, but I'm going to be using it this weekend. I am in desperate need for another pedicure. Um, I am overdue and it's gonna happen this weekend and I'm really looking forward to soaking my feet. I could use it right now. But um, yeah, I'm just getting really close to finishing this off. I think maybe three more foot soaks and it'll be gone, maybe three or four. I'm really getting there, but I don't think I've used this in the past month. For the letter U, I have my Ulta double-ended eyeliner in brown and brown, deep chocolate and deep brown and chocolate. And I did use this a time or two in the past month, but there was no new marks to be made with that pencil. For the letter V, I have my Vineyard Peach Body Butter from the Body Shop. I did finally hit pan on this in the past month. You know what I mean when I say I hit pan. I hit the bottom of the container. And I figured that's good because otherwise you're just staring at a big tub of white this whole time. And now you can kind of watch me expand the pan. Um, so that's cool. I'm glad to have hit pan, no surprise. I enjoy this very much. It's a good body butter. I like the scent and I like the formula. For the letter W, I have my Neutrogena Color Stick in Sweet Watermelon, and I was able to make progress on this too. I've worn this several times. This is a very soft formula, so I feel like there's other lipsticks where if I use them several times, I won't make any progress, but with this one, if I use it several times, I make progress every time, which is super fun. This is the new line for this month, so I have that much left to go. For the letter X, I have my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. It's not so jumbo anymore. I have to say that every month. It's not so jumbo anymore, but I just love how short it's getting. It's getting quite squatty. That's all I have left. I don't know why it's fading out. And I was able to make a new mark with this one as well. For the letter Y, I have my Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush in Peach Satin. This wasn't getting used much over the last couple months once I started multitasking my CoverGirl lipstick as a cream blush. So I was using this for the last several months. But as soon as I finished that, I went back to this one. And I do have some slight progress um, on the scale for this one. It did go down a little bit. Not much. And I didn't work on this for the entire month. But I'm really glad to be working on this again. I've been enjoying it um, as far as the shade and the color. I like it very much. Um, what I don't like is the broken packaging and the fact that every time somebody bumps into it, it falls into a drawer and the lid goes flying and I have to find the product in the lid. But as far as the color, I feel like my blush looks a little bit patchy, but I've also had my makeup on for like 14 hours now, so I'm not looking the freshest. But I do like this shade very much and I'm really happy to be working on it again. And finally, I feel like we've been here for a long time. And finally, for the letter Z, I have my Laura Mercier Highlight in 01. This is getting crumbly. I've been using this more in the past couple weeks also, now that my Bella Rose Highlighter eyeshadow is gone. I was using this pretty exclusively as my face highlight, trying to finish it off, and now that it's gone, I've been using this more. Um, the bulk of the product broke off from the pan about a year ago when I clumsily dropped this in my bathroom, but I just left it sitting on top and I've been using it, but now it's getting thin enough that it's just breaking every time I use it. So I've decided that I'm going to take everything that's kind of loose out of here and place it into a separate container and smash it up and use it as a loose powder. Um, because I'm worried that this won't repress well. This is a baked product, and I have a feeling that it won't repress very well. And so I think I'd rather just use it as a loose highlighter. And I think it'll be a lot easier for me to do it that way. So that's my plan. That'll be in my repressing sesh video as well. I'll do it when I film the repressing of the other products. So that's the plan for this guy. And hopefully I will be able to use it up a lot more consistently and you know ultimately faster that way that's everything you guys oh my gosh I've been talking for 31 minutes hopefully I can edit it down because that's crazy 
Thank you guys so much for watching this update for Beauty A to Z. I do appreciate it. I am so excited to have three empties in this project. For next month, I am anticipating possibly, possibly, these two to be gone. I would like my Revlon primer to be gone and my Pacifica body butter to be gone. That's what I would hope for. I don't know if that's possible or not. We will see, but um, yeah, I'm excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.